Hey guys, I'm Calvin Banks. I'm Jacob Hansen. And this is hashtag Helix. So we took questions from Twitter users and Alex is gonna be reading them to us. Wonderful. Uh, first question is from at Aubride. How tall does a bird have to be for you to be afraid of it? Depends on how big the beak is. Probably three foot for me. If it was like a three foot tall pigeon, just with no beak at all. <laughs> Less that'd threatening. That'd be more terrifying to Less me. Less threatening. Yeah, well think about it. Pelicans uh, have really big beaks. You can put stuff in there. And it, the bigger that gets, the scarier it gets. But like a chickadee, no, nah, I'd fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question is from <laughs> at GalovichFan84 for both of you. Is there anything about yourself that you used to hate but have grown to appreciate? I don't know how to, you go first. I, um, I used to not like my hair, so I used to cut it off short. Way back long ago when I worked for Helix, I had a really short haircut because I was just, I didn't take care of it, I didn't do anything with it, I didn't care about it. It was not something that I'm proud of. And now I'm like... Let the curls fly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. What about it? Before like I fully came out, I used to like hate myself for like being, for being gay. gay. Yeah, and I would like I would wear like the straightest clothes and after I don't know, like something in my head just said screw it and I really just became who I wanted to be. Be loud and, and proud. Yeah. And then Wow, that's deep. Yeah. And then, that really bummed us out, Jacob. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. No, that's like that's, that's like, actually that's yeah. actually one of the most like important things for like kind of all gay men to realize and to come to terms with because there still are some people out there who do hate themselves for being gay. Um, How you should, you should be you? proud that you can be loud and proud. Yeah. yeah, some people will never have that. I know. How old were you when you accepted your gayness, Calvin? Ooh, I put on a pink thong at the age of four. <laughs> so like. It's always it been there. It was never there. a doubt. <laughs> it's always been there. Yeah, it's pretty much been like, and I'm really lucky. I have like the best support system of family and friends. So I was comfortable to come out and I didn't feel the need to because I've always been gay. And I wasn't really bullied for it until I like, and then I like owned it. I became like the gay kid at school and it was, I think it helped me. You came out in, during high school? Um, junior high, but wow, it was high really? school that I really like, like took hold of the title. I'm like, yeah, I'm the gay boy. And I was starting to get a little bit prettier, so like the popularity just kind of like, I, yeah, I had fun. I feel that. <laughs> okay, next question is from at Francis Mastro MJ for both of you. What's your favorite movie? Titanic for me. Head, hands down, I love the romantic. I don't know. I'm a sucker. Oh. That's emotional. Okay. I know. I'm deep. Um, I'd do top three, and it would be Disney movies, and it'd be Mulan, Hercules, and Atlantis. Okay, I like that. I've never seen either of those. Any of those. That's a terrible loss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is from at Joel underscore Slute. What, uh, what was it like on the very first day that you did porn? Mm. Okay. Yours wasn't too long ago. No, it wasn't. It was like pretty slippery. Long. Pretty, uh, pretty uh, fresh in the head. Yeah, uh, well... From the time of me getting on the airplane, I know my heart was like throbbing. I'm like, oh my god, what the hell am I getting myself into? And after I got everything, everything was set up for the film, and me and Josh Brady were just sitting there talking like normal. Honestly, everything felt natural, almost like natural sex. Um, Josh was a total sweetheart too. Love him to death. Um, no, everything went really smoothly and. I'm really happy that I tried out for Helix. So everything was great. Oh my god. Well, I had a terrible first day. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, uh, yeah, no, same. Mine was like a little bit longer ago. It was like three years and four months ago at some point. Not in the same state, but it, with the same company, obviously, with Helix. Go back and watch them now. I was a lot <laughs> smaller. Um, and it was. It was just kind of a surreal experience. It was my first time traveling to the West Coast. Um, first time like really seeing a palm tree and being like, wow, that's a, that's a fucking palm tree. <laughs> um, and the, the scene itself, I mean, I did a solo first. And I mean, I've always loved myself, so I mean, to love myself on camera, I'll do it. Um, and then my actual scene was with Tyler Hill. Um, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It was 
fun. It was. Like, I was. I was a brand. I was brand new. I wasn't. I didn't really know who I was as much sexually. So really? it was a really learning experience. Like I've grown so much in the past three years to where I am now. If you compared my scene, my first scene with you guys, to what like we're gonna film or the things I filmed in the past year or so, it's just like. There are things that are similar about it, but it, I'm, I'm still like a completely new performer. I really like figured out my flow. You so. always seemed really confident to me, right? Like right away. I was like, you've never done this before? And you'd be like, yeah, no. And I was just oh. sexual from a very young age. And I have a long tongue. <laughs> a big dick. Next question is from at rerun again. Uh, what's your favorite, what's your go-to for cologne? And what's your idea of a perfect date? Well, I actually wear Hollister, just like the normal Hollister cologne that I have. Um, yeah, but what's the name? It's just called Hollister. <laughs> Hollister what? Does it just say like, regular? It's literally just called Hollister. Does it just say regular on it? It's just like the it? glass bottle. Like, I don't think it has a name. It's just like the... It's cheap. Oh, it sounds made up to me. <laughs> okay, and then my uh, romantic <laughs> date would have to be probably a picnic on a beach. I've always wanted to do that. I haven't had the opportunity to do it's it. It's messy. Well, I'm going to make that happen. Just use a blanket. Yeah, or something. I'll figure it out when the time comes. Um, I, my favorite is Gucci Guilty. I've gone through like three bottles. Um, and Perfect Date. I don't know. There's a lot of Perfect Dates. There's a lot of places you go, a lot of things you could do. I... I enjoy a nice dinner. I enjoy a movie. Just anywhere where you can make... If it's... I don't know if it's a good date, it's just, I don't know. I, I guess I was going under like first date impressions, so I want to be able to get to know the person, but I guess just like someone you already know, a perfect date. I used to have a list. Picnic on the beach. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, have, you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a picnic in a field and then afterwards we're gonna go to the beach and we're gonna watch the sunset at the beach. Maybe afterwards we'll go see a movie um, or a comedy show. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Because then you're not like, like a movie, it's like, it's less movie, dark. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, like, like you do end. that at the end when you run out of things to talk about. <laughs> okay. Next question is from at rrgirl69. Calvin, I'm so glad you're back. Heart, heart, heart. What's the sexiest thing a partner can do for you? Um, they can let me know that what I'm doing is good. Communication has always been key. And if I like what you're doing, I'm going to tell you. If you like what I'm doing, let me know so I can continue doing it, ideally. Or stop if you don't like it. So, communication. Uh, next question is from at Aloha Mar Love for both of you. Is there a TV show or book or video game that everybody seems to love but you just can't get into? Yeah. For me, it would definitely be Games of Thrones. What? Uh, all, all of the Games <laughs> um, of I'll cut the yes. cameras. <laughs> We're going to have to let you go. <laughs> I uh, watch a little bit, and I just cannot get into it. I mean, maybe if I just watch a little bit more, I don't know. But for me, it's just not a go. Not a, not a go for me. Sorry. Um, hi, Mary. I love you. Um, I love Game of Thrones. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah. I love all fantasy things. So all the things I watch are fantasy. The things that I would get, I guess tend to not get into, I guess, are like Breaking Bad or like Sons of Anarchy, people talk about a lot, never actually seen. Um, I read a lot, I watch a lot. Fantasy though, y'all know that. It's funny that you mentioned that because I actually like don't particularly like fantasy stuff. Like I don't like Lord of the Rings too much, but I really like Game of Thrones for some reason. Oh, see, I love Lord of the Rings. I like Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Next question is from at RomeoDude111. Calvin, over three years have gone by since you debuted at Helix. What do you see yourself doing three more years from now? Um, hi, Tony. Three years from now? I mean, it's already been three, almost three and a half years since I've gotten in this industry. I gave myself basically a, six, a five or six year plan for this industry. Probably in three years, I'll be looking to move on to the next step, or next path in life. So that's why I'm going to give these current three years all I damn got. <laughs> I like that. I like that too. <laughs> I like that. I like that one. Do you like that? Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> next question is like for, uh, for Jacob from uh, at pan, pan underscore fan underscore XXX. Okay. 
uh, Jacob, how have your experiences filming with Helix been so far? Oh, and Calvin, as an experienced performer, what tips could you give Jacob? P.S. Jacob, you're so handsome. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, <laughs> well, um, so far my experiences have been super pleasant. Um, there's not been anybody that I've met yet that I haven't liked. Um, everyone gets along very, very well. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And honestly, the sex is good too, so that's always a plus. Um, love it. So everything's great. So. Yeah, three years in. Tips for... The bottom of the top for anybody. I guess earlier I said communication, because once again, that mm -hmm. is the biggest thing you can do. Nobody wants a partner to just sit there and just be like, uh, uh, for like five minutes, like talk, say something, anything. Say something. Something that's sexy, just don't call it a bussy and... Yeah, don't do that. Just communicate. Um, don't do that. Listen, listen to your partner. Do all you can. Um, open up. Open Open. Up. Oh my God. <laughs> when I push you away, don't go hard. Don't run from the dick, yeah. Oh my fuck. <laughs> um, next question is from at rrgirl69. Calvin, please, can you shake those sexy curls? I love a guy with curly hair. P.S. Um, loves to so Alex Roman. Aw, oh, thanks. Luke, love you too. Lee, I love my curls just as much as you do. <laughs> Absolutely. <coughs> well, that'll mess it up for the rest, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I love them too. Everybody loves curly hair. The next question is from at Smith John, 1999, 33. Are either of you interested in doing spank scenes? Um, yeah, I would. I would let someone spank my ass. I, don't, I mean, why not? I mean, I think it'd be fun. We kind of did that during the whole truck fuck scene. Uh, truck Ash, fuck. Yeah, Ashley kind of. Well, lucky for you. Helix has a whole site dedicated to right. spanking. But it will sign you right up. Spankthis.com. Yeah. I mean, spank, spank this app. So, <laughs> um, I've done a spanking scene. Go subscribe and watch. Would you spank me? Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. All right. Would you guys book me for a spanking scene? <laughs> See. Then yes. At, from at the C refuses. Uh, what's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Mm, well, <laughs> mm, mm. I mean, I one time let a guy tie me down, and he pretty much, he got to do a lot. I mean, it was pretty much anything that he wanted to do. It was pretty hot, though. Oh, my God, I feel so vanilla sometimes, because like, I've watched some crazy-ass porn. I think about the really kinky shit that some people do, and it's not me. Um... Aside from like like I am dominant, I've peed on someone before. I just like good sex, and I can I can accomplish that via not the kinkiest means. I let my my everything else do the. Uh, next question is from at thirty three limb three for both of you guys. What's your favorite place on your body to be kissed? And then. Request for, request for them to kiss that part of each other's body. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, my favorite part for me to be kissed would have to be my neck, for sure. I don't know, I'm a sucker. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Okay. I'm actually gonna agree with that. My neck's my favorite. Either my neck or like my ears. But I like oh, my, my ears to be like bit on. Did you know you have like 27 nerve or like pressure points in your ear alone? Really? And that babies, when they sleep and you see them sleeping and they're playing with their ear, because while they're sleeping, they touch their ear because it naturally soothes them. Anyway. Okay, request time. From at Twink backup, a request for Jacob to try to deep throw Calvin during the scene. Okay. Cool. <laughs> he'll, he'll give it his best shot. He'll think about it, yeah. yeah I, I think I can handle it. 
Next uh, request, it's uh, two people requested this actually. At born ten, born 10 years too early, can we see an upside down kiss? Miss CJ Willis says, can you do, guys do the Spider-Man kiss? Spider-Man? Okay. 